Hello my friends, this is Wolfgang's Tools for Ascension and I have a great gift for you today. This is an ASMR style uh, meditation, uh, how to attract your love or your twin flame and uh, be with this love in your dream time. Yes, this video is designed to make you float away ASMR style, you know, to a dream world to be with your most loved one in a loving communication on the highest levels of existence. And of course, you know, you draw that love into your life and into your lover's life, you know, and you go to sleep and you have a 5D love relationship, which includes telepathy, love making with chi, and also communion on higher dimensional levels. So, to be safe and protected, let us ask Absolute Source and the Divine Beings that come from love and light, like your Spirit Guides and Archangel Michael, to make sure that we are not being tricked by imposters, by shapeshifters or other predators into making contracts in dream time or other harmful things like giving our energies to them. So please, you know, source absolute source and as well as delegations of absolute source to protect us. Please guide and protect us during our sleep time for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcome. You say Amen or your Hindus, uh, Swaha or yes or not your head. And we ask that in this dream time in our sleep that we meet with the guidance from our high self, you know, our highest lover, the highest love that is allowed right now and good for us now, according to the judgment of our own high self. Aim. Or Swaha. And now, just start to smile. And with every inhale, to just pull like as if there is a pink cloud around you. We asked our spirit guides to create this pink golden cloud around us that has actually quite strong borders and only good things get into there. Only love and light get in there. It completely protects us on all levels. Yeah, that feels so good. And now we start inhaling this pinkish golden stuff. Mm. And ah, our body starts relaxing. And we just pull the stuff through all of our pores and our skin into our bodies. Mm. And it relaxes everything below it even more. Ah, that feels so good. Mm. You just smile and enjoy how you're becoming lighter and lighter. <laughs> and you expand more and more. Ooh, this feels good. This is just float. High and high. Expand. Yeah. And you be you start to lose all awareness of your physical. Yeah, it just drops away. 
and you start feeling very large, small at the same time. Ah, and now we just give ourselves permission <laughs> to let go of all this worldly bad. All those tangent and responsibilities. <laughs> yeah, we leave those behind. We're going to a dream world now. No worldly concern. Uh, yeah. uh -huh. Our body can relax and rejuvenate. Ah, all this worldly stuff, the slow chi things, they just flow out from all the things. Sink deep into the ground. They can not even get stuck in the bed. No, they just float to the earth. And she uses this and fuel that transmutes it and makes it fertile again. Yeah. Ah, that feels good. Mm -hmm. Let God carry on. And now we ask for the presence of our high self, our highest consciousness, to come down to us. Ah, it comes floating into us. Some of you just may feel this fluffy, loving, uplifting vibration. And some of you, ah, there may see you, orb of light, this radiance, nothing humanoid. Ah, and some of you may see a humanoid aspect of themselves. Uh -huh. But to be sure, we ask souls to put a violet column of it to it, surrounding and ourselves too. See if they like it. Uh huh. If this presence doesn't like it, we wish it bye bye. You're not supposed to be here. We asked you to leave now in the name of Source. And we asked our own high self to step forward. If it likes it, we'll go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we smile. We smile. And so with everybody that passes this violet light test, we just send our love to them. I know we take that love from source, from all that surround us in its purest form that comes into us. Oh, this feels so good pulling this into you. Oh, it seems so good. So you charge yourself up with this love. Mm -hmm. And you send this to this higher self presence of you. With your breath, you smile in your mind. Ah, let's see what happens. If there's a lot of love coming back, start inhaling that love, absorbing it, and then send your love back like a cloud, fluffy, fluffy cloud of young, 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 fluffy, cozy love. Thank you. 
effortless relax into this feeling. Yeah. And now as it feels safe, it has this higher self aspect to merge with us and to bring us into even higher, more restored vibrations for our spirit. for the highest good though the angels they watch you the, the loving angels they watch and protect you the divine loving beings watch and protect you to make sure no harm comes to you yes you're completely safe uh -huh. oh, okay and now we call on the presence of the high self of our beloved. Whether you have a partner already, let's call on that one. Or if there is somebody you know in line for you or karmically and you don't have a partner, you can call on that one. Or if you think you're having a twin flame, or you suspect it, or you know it, call on that one. They're all coming volunteer. If they don't want to come, they don't have to come. So let's just see who's coming. And smile. And just to be on the safe side, let's put the violet light onto them. Make sure that there are no imposters. Yeah. Uh -huh. And if they don't like it, we say bye bye. And he asked for the real thing to come now. And do the whole test again. Kurt likes the violet light. But this is so pleasurable and playful. And now if they like the violet light. A smile in your mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you seem to be floating in front of each other. You kind of mirror. Uh-huh. And he asked that you both agree to work together here now for the high school. And the first thing we're going to do together is remove all the obstacles that are between you to exchange your love. So, yeah. Uh, so let's say we have vows that we made in past lifetimes. That we're not for the highest good anymore. Mm -hmm. That may be separating you from your true love. So let's have things cleared. Yeah, let's let go. Mm. It's like having parchment roll going into the fire of divine transformation. Ah, yeah. They get transmuted into an energy. That's beneficial for everybody that did that vow. Mm -hmm. They all are done with good intent. So let's like ask that this intent be redirected to, get to their highest good. The dual eyes. Yeah. Ah, that's good. Mm -hmm. And then also all those contracts that we made that are still separating us. 
So many conflicts overlapping from so many lifetimes, creating this big mess. Yeah, and so with the help of Source and our permission, I'd like to have all those conflicts burned. Lift it into the higher dimensions to become divine things. Mm -hmm. With the good intent that was behind it. Not all the entanglement that was there yet. So let's just go and clear all these contracts. And they just turn into uh, from scrolls to uh, to rainbows, blessing everybody with the good intent that was originally there, stripped of all the negative stuff, the entanglement. And next, let's call on all the promises unto others ah, that were done in ignorance. Let's have those clear too. Yeah. <laughs> They're probably all kind of guilty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you were conceived with good intent. Yeah, and if you not apply anymore. Yeah, let that good intent, that love that was behind it. <laughs> that love behind, yeah. Let it go to those it was meant to. Without the entanglement. Oh, yes. Oh, this feels good. So, those promises are just like balloons. <laughs> and they float away. Oh, this feels good. It feels so good. This burns. This unnecessary burns. I let go. <sighs> mm. And now, oh, there's other things that separate you, maybe. So, there are curses that float around from jealous people, from disappointed people, from ourselves, us, yes, from enemies, sometimes from gods. Ooh, ooh. We are so sorry that they're there, spoiling our love and spoiling other people's love. And we are absolute merciful source, the biggest transformers, transmuters, maybe in the form of Lord Shiva, or Lord Ganesh, or in the form of archangels of love and light. To clear those curses throughout all creation and reality so that love and light can flow. Ah, it's so awesome. Oh. Oh. And the dissolve. their solid form into a more stinky form and then it transmutes into a beautiful smell of roses and love. Yeah, I said being transmuted <laughs> into the original joyful energy. Ah, yeah. Ah, that feels good. Mm -hmm. And now we ask on all our angelic friends that come from love and love. 
And he asked them to also clear all the jealous ghosts from the that yet ancients lover, possessive lovers, kings, pharaohs, witches, magicians, masters that keep us enslaved. Yeah, that suck our energy or sexuality that want to possess us all. They're not welcome. Mm -hmm. And so we ask that you be brought to the Arcturian love feeling and to ascension chains. And there that they be show the higher perspective on their love. And they actually be reunited with lost loved ones that they're still looking for on the astral plane. Those they do not want to leave behind. We unite them now, aim. Show them the higher perspective on their life and help them with forgiveness, giving it and receiving it and asking for it. And then escort them into the heavens when they're ready or keep them in love chambers till they're ready to go. Mm -hmm. Do the same thing with the pious ghost of yours that are renunciant or the guilty ones too that deserve or that think that they do not deserve any love or that the love should only be given to that say one person only like like a Jesus or the Buddha or Billy Bob or any other person. Mm -hmm. These were all very serious vows. And... But let's clear them all. And we ask the all-merciful Supreme Spirit to also clear any bindings from us that keep us trapped and also where we trapped others. Clear us too. So that more and more aspects of our soul can come together and celebrate this love, this highest love. And we ask that to be purified these aspects and join us in a purified as most auspicious state. That your twin lover and you gets charged up with this aspect that coming in. And as your real soul comes back to you and you become radiant, we also ask that any glass that were put onto you or that you put on others, any love spells that are divergent that you put onto others or were put onto you, we ah, turn them into butterflies. Yeah. And then into rainbows of celestial light that starts surrounding you and your love. Ah, they pulse all the way through your force fields in vain. Ah. And as you're floating in front of each other, we ask that you be sure in those dark courts to which you're connected to each other with your lower vibrational nature. Yeah. Those of the so-called wife beater or bitch. <laughs> the lower human aspects. Those that are hurt pain based on addiction and ego and projection. Ah, you both just on the inhale feel yourself with this divine love that is all around you. And send it to those courts 
Oh, so to, to dissolve them, yes. Your love is like UV rays or plastic, so those, those cords, they kind of look like dark mozzarella cheese <laughs> It's strings, yeah. They become brittle and ultimately fall apart and just dissolve into beautiful rainbows with tinker, tinker, tinker sound. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now you start perceiving those ribbons. They are like ribbons of lace that connect you. Yeah, these are the pure, the pure connection. Mm -hmm. The higher vibration, real. Those without the animal things. The fifth dimensional consciousness, yeah. You become aware of them and you start smiling into them. And with your breath, you make them stronger. And now they start slowly growing between you. But before you completely exchange energies with them, maybe just one more time. Release all the stuff, the baggage around love from the body. We just forget, let go. Give and let go. Oh, that feels so good. Give and let go. All this pain and heaviness that you may have passed to your lover around love is start to flow to me. Oh, that feels good. Ah, that feels good. And release into uh, this all your emotional pain, from your tummy, from your uterus, all your resentment around love. center of your heart, it just floats out of you. Ah, it feels so good as it floats out of you. Like little bubbles, it just disappears. Ah, and now your heart starts to open. As this brittle crust of the old pain just, it just evaporates. As your heart is opening, you start seeing a wormhole in your own heart, and you see it also in your lover's heart. And this wormhole goes straight to source and which is love. And now, just with your breath, with your inhale. Did this bring that love up to the surface of you? And with the exhale, you send this over, this lace ribbon to you. Love us up. Mm -hmm. Just keep sending it and flowing it and smiling. Ah. You caress your lover. Oh, oh. Kind of fluff is false, you know, a false, you know. 
tender loving. It's the purest love that you're getting from the creator. It's the best and choicest love that you can get from the creator. And you also become aware of that love that your lover is sending to you, creator to you. Uh -huh. You both have access to creator love, but you share it with each other, because in sharing that is when love is experienced. It's not like money sitting in the bank. It's money spent. Oh. And that love from your lover, it is so sweet. So nourishing. Oh, you open your heart. The source is protecting you. Make sure that only the purest choices love gets in. And you allow this love because you know it's not gonna hurt you. It is not conditional. It's from source. It's from source. You pull it in. And then on the exhale or on the other side you give your aspect of source love to your love. And you go back and forth. This love is just wafting back and forth between you. Waves of love back and forth with the rhythm of your breath become a slight and effortless, just like the ocean waves, light, effortless, loving, caressing, nourishing, sharing, And now, besides seeing this love from the heart, you add your throat. Yeah. Start sending your love from the throat to your lover's throat. And as you clear any restrictions you find there, you allow your lover to clear any restrictions on your throat, any shield, pain, black suppression. Uh, And you tend each other's throat with your love. And make sure there's love in the back. And love to the side. And love to the front. And you play around with the shapes of the love that you send me. And you also play around with the colors. You may start with turquoise colors. And gold. 
and place in between. And changing these back and forth, like throwing a big fluffy ball of love. And now we also draw the love of Creator from your heart into your face, into your cheeks, into your eyes, into your throat, into your heart. It's like a sun, just warm your lungs, that love. Find it at your love, right in your love, and your love does the same thing to you in the lower zone. Make back and forth exchange, and now we are to open up. To the ceiling from your lungs. Feel. See the colors. Enjoy. Accept everything that is of love and light and giving in an unconditional way. And you make it better that your stuff sent everything back. Surprise with new beautiful shapes and forms and emotions. And now we ask more of our divine aspects to become manifested. You start manifesting your crown round and above you. You send that source love into your own crown. Ooh, damn it. Get clean. Clean, remove any parasites, any stuck progress, any darkness and sabotage in the AI. He asked Absolute Creator and its beautiful representations of love and life to clear this as much as possible and of course of our lover to charge it up. And now we reach out with our crown to our lover and just like to move it but slow rotating we start exchanging and merging the back and forth like a waltz of love, rotating, going higher and higher into the highest way. And more and more aspects of your divine soul can come in now. As there's no negative interference, as they're completely protected by cells. Completely protected. They can come in now. Ah. They become one now, on the higher and higher. 
bayonet. They become one different and the same. One different and the same. Playfully playing around. Like the yin and yang. The playful, loving way. Together, as the energies combine, with the love and light combine, they can float higher and higher into the highest aspects of their soul, the highest vibrational aspect. And as they're reaching up, they allow those aspects to flow down into their different vibrational levels, bringing these divine essences into the lower octaves of the manifestations, bringing it into this manifestation. Illuminating the dream room, illuminating our astral world, illuminating our physical life, illuminating, illuminating, illuminating our Charging us up, helping us manifesting the highest aspects of ourselves. Like being in love all the time. All six Always in the flow. And now you and your divine love start dancing around each other. In each of you, it's like a little world in along your spine. There's Eda and Gala's dancing around your spine. You start dancing and undulating closer and closer and closer. <sighs> Which... <sighs> There's a point where they become one. As they become one, there's this beautiful column of light protecting their energy. This is their energy. Nobody else but your lover and you has access to this. It's becoming more and more part of humanity. And wherever your physical bodies are, there's this feeling of oneness with your love. This oneness without need. The only need is the exchange of love. Because love is not stationary. Love has to move. Love is always moving between your love and you. And you are aspect of creator and love is aspect of creator. And you're aware of 
of this in bed. Would you love and share it? Both aspects in you. You see the individual lover and you see the creator. You see yourself. Did you release any walls and twists and systems? Any preconception? Just float into this beautiful world. And let go of whatever. It's not needed anymore. Whatever identification just keep you away from them and separate you with your love. This beautiful ball of love and love that you and your lover have created together. We ask that this be sealed for you and your love. Uh, that it cannot be taken from you. That if we will nourish your love and heal you and help you overcome and transmute Whatever's holding you back from even more love, from manifesting even more love in this and all the other realities. And we ask that our bed be filled with love, just magic the vibration of our own love. That our lovers bed be filled with love and light. That our lovers and our auras be protected by the most divine, powerful Merkabas and the most divine, powerful protecting angels that come from love and light. That our residences and our businesses and our cars and our assets be protected and pure. Start to manifest the love and light of souls, the most high vibrational aspect. He asked for all the loving beings of nature, all the loving feelings that love us unconditionally to surround us mm-hmm. and guide us back, you know, into what it is to be a divine human, this consciousness. And now we all float into the most auspicious dream with our beloved, mm-hmm. into the highest dimensions, mm-hmm. clearing calmness, bringing love and light to the dark spaces. Mm-hmm. 
whatever is for the highest good and divine harmony and the most benevolent outcome. For our divine mission, for our dark. So be it, so be it, so be it, so be it. Amen. Amen. Swaha. 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 We love you. We love you. We love you. We love you. You're completely protected, surrounded by white light. Completely protected. All the ribbons between your loved ones are completely protected. And all cords still manipulating you are just rendering away and falling away from you. Just like a navel. Like the umbilical cord is falling away from a name of a naturally born.